Hey everyone, this is Andrea with Solheim Enterprises and this is my mini lecture series. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about sepsis. Don't stop watching, I know everybody's tired of it, but I'm gonna talk specifically about NICOM. That's non-invasive cardiac output monitoring. One of the things with sepsis that really we struggle with is fluids, right? We know we're supposed to give 30 mils per kilo to the patient, but I don't wanna give 30 mils per kilo to my patient with cardiac failure or renal failure because I think I'm gonna kill them, right? Well, NICOM could potentially be our answer to that problem. What NICOM does is it uses non-invasive technology to assess stroke volume. So basically you do a trial run and you see what your patient's baseline is and then you give them a fluid bolus or you reposition their legs and you see if there's a change in stroke volume. If there's a change of more than 10%, your patient needs more fluids. If there's not and they're hypotensive, they need a presser because their tank is full but their pump isn't effective. So think about the implications with this. Number one, I can prevent my renal patients and my cardiac patients from getting too much fluid. Number two, I can maybe prevent them from needing an invasive procedure. They don't necessarily need that central line for CVP monitoring or that pulmonary wedge pressure. So I'm preventing the introduction of a potential infective agent, which is amazing for our patients as well. There's been a lot of literature out there showing the benefits that this technology can have. It has shown that it can reduce IV fluid administration by up to three liters. It can decrease a patient's ICU length of stay. It can decrease the length of time on vasopressors. And it can also decrease the incidence of dialysis related to all that IV fluid we gave the patient. If you aren't using NICOM at your hospital, I highly recommend that you start having conversations with the leaders in your departments and see what you can do to bring it in. If you are, I would love for you to share a comment about how you're using it and any changes that you've seen in your practice because of its presence. So that's just a little snippet about NICOM and how it can help guide our care in sepsis. Please stay tuned for more lectures.